Scotty Scheffler, golf's new number one, and his journey to the top. Scotty Scheffler was without a win in his first three years on the PGA Tour, then won three out of his last five events and climbed to the number one spot. The American professional golfer is currently number one in the official world golf rankings and is the sixth youngest player to reach number one since the world ranking began in 1986. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth look into his life, early career, his journey, and the tournaments he's won that have gotten him to the prestigious stage in his career. We'll also be touching on areas like his relationship status, network, and upcoming tournaments. So keep watching till the end of this video. And if you haven't subscribed, do that now to get notifications on our new video drops and enjoy juicy updates on your favorite sport, golf. For those of us who don't know much about Scotty Scheffler, here's a short biography. The six foot three inch, 200 pound professional golfer was born on the 21st of June, 1996 in Ridgewood, New Jersey to Diane and Scott Scheffler. He's 25 years old and is currently married to his girlfriend of over six years, Meredith Scudder. At an early age, the family moved from New Jersey to Dallas, Texas, where Scotty has been based for the majority of his career. He has three sisters named Callie, Sarah, and Molly. The whole family travels with Scotty while he's playing to support him. They often sleep in the same hotel room or on the same floor. I mean, sounds like a great support system, right? He attended the University of Texas for four years, from 2014 till he graduated in 2018 with a business degree in finance. The same year, he began his professional career. According to PGA Tour's official website, Scotty Scheffler's total career earnings of $15,467,330, and he earned almost half of this in under two months. Here's how he did it. Scotty was six years old when he first swung the club at Dallas's Royal Oaks Country Club. By 14, he qualified for the statewide Texas Amateur Tournament and won the Legends Junior Match Play Championship in 2011. Scheffler won the U.S. Junior Amateur hosted at Martis Camp Golf Course, becoming only the second U.S. Junior winner since 1986 to reach the quarterfinals of the U.S. Amateur Tournament at the Country Club in Brookline, Massachusetts. In 2012, Scotty Scheffler set or tied course records at two different courses in the Dallas area. After breaking the Northwoods club course record previously set by Hunter Mahan with a 10 under 61, he then tied the Dallas Country Club record of 9 under just 61 days later. Scotty posted four top 10 American Junior Golf Association finishes in seven starts, including a runner up finish at the Polo Golf Junior Class. He also finished within the top 10 in all starts at the American Junior Golf Association 2013 season, including two runners up. 2014 was a massive year for Scotty Scheffler's junior career. He participated in several tournaments that helped set his career path, such as the Northeast Invitational at Wanamoiset Country Club in Rhode Island, where he finished tied for third. His finish earned him a spot at the 2014 Western Amateur alongside his Texas teammate, Bo Hostler and Doug Gim. Scotty Scheffler was eventually defeated in round 64. That same year, Scotty participated in the Terracotta Invitational at Naples National Golf Club in Florida. With sponsorship exemption, Scotty Scheffler also participated in the FedEx St. Jude Classic, where he missed the cut, and the HP Byron Nelson Championship, where he ended up T22. He finished his junior career ranked number one in the American Junior Golf Association after three years as Rolex Junior All-American Honors and as the number one junior player in Golf Week's class of 2014. As a kid, Scotty played golf at Highland Park High School, where his wife also attended high school. I'm guessing this is where they first met. He later went on to play golf at the University of Texas from 2014 to 2018. While there, he helped his team win three Big 12 championships and was the Phil Mickelson Freshman of the Year in 2015. In 2016, at Oak Mount Country Club, Scotty qualified for his first U.S. Open. He opened with a first round 69, but would shoot a second round 78 to miss the cut by one stroke. He qualified for the U.S. Open again in 2017, hosted at Aaron Hills after surviving a four for three playoff to earn a spot in the field. Scotty Scheffler and Cameron Champ were the only amateurs to make the cut in 2017, with Scotty finishing as low amateur. Scotty Scheffler was part of the U.S. team that won the 2017 Walker Cup with other famous golf players like Doug Gim, Maverick McNeely, and Braden Thornberry. For more juicy golf information and gossip, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Scotty Scheffler earned his Web.com tour card through qualifying school in 2018. 
he birdied the second playoff hole to secure his first Web.com Tour victory. A few months later, on August 18, 2019, Scheffler won the Nationwide Children's Hospital Championship in Columbus, Ohio, shooting a 4-under, 67 in the final round at the Ohio State University's Scarlet's course for a two-shot victory. Scheffler totaled a 12-under, 272 for the week and finished two shots ahead of Brendan Todd and the overall points to earn a fully exempt PGA Tour card for the 2020 season. He was named the Corn Ferry Player of the Year. 2020 was a sad year for the world of golf, as the COVID-19 virus stopped various competitions. But in August of 2020, Scheffler finished tied for fourth at the 2020 PGA Championships and won $528,000. In August of 2021, at the Northern Trust, formerly known as the Barclays, Scotty Scheffler shot a 12 under 59. His round was the second lowest in PGA Tour history and the 12th sub-60 round of all time. The following month, Scotty played on the U.S. team that participated in the 2021 Ryder Cup at Whistling Straits in Kohler, Wisconsin. The team went on to win 19-9, and Scheffler personally went 2-0-1 including a win in his Sunday's singles match against previous world number one, John Rahm. 2022 has been the professional golf player's best year so far. To put this into perspective, Scotty has earned more in five events than Hall of Fame golfer Jack Nicklaus did throughout his entire PGA Tour career. Although I can't argue that the prize money in professional golf today trumps that of the past, this is mind-blowing. Scotty earned almost $1.5 million with his playoff win at the Waste Management Phoenix Open and for his victory at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Scheffler won by one stroke over Victor Hovland, Billy Horschel, and Terrell Hatter to claim his second PGA Tour title. On the 13th of February, 2022, Scheffler earned $2.1 million with his match play win at the World Golf Championships held by Dell Technologies. He defeated Kevin Kistner in the final match. The win came at a familiar ground the Austin Country Club in Texas where Scotty played during his Longhorn days. With that, Scotty climbed up to the number one spot on the official World Golf Ranking. He took over John Rahm, who had been number one for 43 weeks since July 19, 2020. John's loss to Brooks Kepka in the fourth round pushed him down the charts, and with Scotty's PGA Tour win, he secured the number one spot in the world. When Scotty won the mock play event, there was a flood of emotions all over the grounds from family and fans who had come out to support the American golfer. He was first hugged emotionally by his wife, Meredith Scudder, and then by his parents. An NBC microphone caught his dad saying, I love you, Scott. I'm so proud of who you are in your golf. You're a wonderful young man. After his win, Scotty said, I guess I'm making up for a little lost time, maybe the past few weeks. Lost time? Coming from a 25-year-old athlete who just made more than $6 million in his first 70 PGA Tour starts prior to his breakthrough win in Arizona? Come on! He continued saying, I really don't know what to say. My head is spinning right now, to be honest. Naturally, Scotty is among the bookies' favorite heading into the Masters Tournament coming up on the 7th of April this year. In just six weeks, Scotty Scheffler has not only climbed the official world ranking, but he has also collected almost $6.2 in winnings. <laughs> what an amazing career. This goes out as motivation to everyone who's having a hard time achieving their dreams. And all of you who are aspiring to play your best golf, dreams can be achieved. That's it for our video today. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button and make sure you've subscribed. For more questions and suggestions, you can use the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till next time.